Hey, we are live, and it's Shoshi from Shoshi's Minis, and I hope that I am loud enough and that my music is all good. We got good sound. We got good, good mic sound. Not too loud. Mike and I worked really hard on Saturday to try to get everything fixed up. Yay, I'm so glad. So apparently in Streamlabs OBS, there was a box that was not supposed to be checked, that was checked. Somehow maybe got chucked by accident or something. Anyway, it was causing it to override some kind of amount of bits being uploaded, like way too many, which was causing everything to get overloaded and crazy, which is why I've been dropping and, and dropping packets and having problems. So knock on wood, I'm really hoping that today we're not gonna have that problem. In fact, I'm building, because I was, I don't know if you guys remember Friday, but I was, so upset I was so bummed out because we did such an amazing painting on the on the Tinkerbell model and basically what happened was the recording was terrible because um, because of all the stream issues so I was really bummed out because the, the, the painting let me show you this this model 
Hello, Robot Shamberton. Thank you so much for showing up. And Javasuko is here. You will never know. Hello, guys. And let's go overhead and take a look. This is what I've been working on. Look at this girl. Look at her. Um, Patrick Mazan is the sculptor. Hold on, let me see if I can adjust the, the color a little bit. It's not quite bright. It's like a little washed out. Let's try this. Properties. What do you think of that? Contrast. Let's try contrast. Ooh, ooh, ooh. See, we that that does the color correctly, but then it gets everything too bright. Let's knock down the brightness a smidge. It says you can ban the bot. Please don't ban the bot. <laughs> Don't, I need the bot, especially since the bot is, is is a permanent subscription. All right. Nobody ever takes over the bot for any reason. Anyway, look at this. I did the little kind of sparkle on the wings, and all I did to do that was get a little bit of just little white dots and little, and I, then I also used some metallic medium white dots. And so I just have to finish up this Cricut and maybe do something with her. She's looking really pale on stream. She's actually, see her knee, how pink it is right there? Can you see that right there? That's, that, you can't see some of the subtle pinks that are on her skin on the stream. Yeah, so I'm very happy with how she's coming along. We're just gonna build. I wanna make sure everything is good because I don't wanna get painting on something cool again and then have it messed up because that was a nightmare. Say, pale and bit of flat off on stream. I know, I'm not sure what to do about that. I might have to, it is a chickadee, Geeky Girl Games. It is a chickadee. Look at that. So cute. <laughs> is a male chickadee, black capped chickadee, in fact. And I'm really, really happy with how the birdie turned out. The, the fairy needs work still. Still needs a little work, um, but again, it's not showing up that well on stream either. So some of the things you're not able to see. You would love this mini robot. You can go to Blacksmith Miniatures, and go it's better to Google it. Google Blacks Black. Ah, oh, Lashana Tova, thank you. My love, guys, it is the Jewish New Year today, and Lashana Tova means a, a new year, a good new year, a good new year or a good year technically and literally. So, yeah. I got gloves on cuz we're going to build stuff and I'm going to get I'm going to get super glue everywhere and I thought I would put some gloves on. I'm going to show you some of the models that we're going to build first of all. Let's see how many we can get through. So you may have seen this girl. Um, let me see. I might have to censor this. Hold on one second. Massive Huggles tie. There. Now, this <laughs> makes it worse when you censor it. <laughs> but anyway, this is, is a very cool model. Zurong, the Overlord of the Eternal Flame Celestial Genesis Miniatures. And you can see how cool she is. I do not know who painted this box art, but it's gorgeous. She's just got a few parts, so she won't take long to build. Yes. How are you? I hope you're well as well. Oh, you redeemed your highlight message. That's awesome. So we got that one, and I got another celestial miniature one. Oh, we got to censor this one too. My goodness. All right, so this girl is her, I don't know how you pronounce this, but I'm guessing it's like Nuva or something like that, or. She's basically, it's funny because she's covered here, but not on the box art. She is like a um, snake woman, kind of cyborgish snake woman. They're all really cool. I've got that. What's the scale for these? That's a good question. Let's, I want to say 54. 52. <sighs> 52. Mm, pardon me. Hello, Trash Rama. Hello. Zymergist, they suckered me into getting a free 
shirt from Celestia with these gorgeous minis. <laughs> That's awesome. So you can see they're kind of big, big-ish, bigger than Kingdom Death for sure. Um, so let's get let's get those two out. I'm gonna throw these boxes on the floor. Yeah, thank you. Oh, you guys are so nice. <laughs> Sometimes it's funny, the lights actually make me sneeze. So there's that one. We're gonna set that over there. I don't think I need this. Oh, 140 millimeter tall. This miniature is supplied unpainted recar- Oh, quite, duh. Okay, so that one's 144 mil. I don't know what that means. Pixel Cruncher, I love those minis. I have Nua in, my, in progress on my desk, awesome. I also have this Luxumbra Joan of Arc bust and I, one of my followers gave this to me, so it was a huge, huge thank you. I believe it was, I don't know, but I'm going to be painting this um, with, who am I going to be painting this with? Uh, Key Lime. Key Lime Prime and I are going to paint this together. And so, oh, she's awesome. This is Joan of Arc from Infinity. It's the bust. Looks like her sword is a little bit wonky, so I'll have to straighten that with the hair dryer. That will be pretty easy. That one I think I'm gonna mount onto dowel rods. Creek not goes hello. All right, we got that. And then I've got this one. This is pretty cool. Ringtail Vixen from Kingdom Death. And she's gonna be pretty easy to put together. She'll be pretty quick. She's just a little spruce. She comes with, the reason why I want to use her is because she comes with this game card that I can add to our game with her. And basically it says, place this bookmark on the intimacy story event in your rule book as a, it is an alternative outcome to a one. <gasps> oh, funny. Keep this bookmark on the page until a one is rolled. Then perform infant adrift instead. And I guess, so you get this this girl, this, um, where is she? The ringtail survivor. This kind of part animal, animalistic character. Yes, hi Rumble, how are you? So it says, uh, the nominated survivors march into the darkness. Oh, prepare to face death. Instead, they're drawn to the reedy cries of a newborn floating in a basket on a river of blood. Taking this as an omen of hope, the parents return to the settlement. They gain plus one, Oh, because normally when you roll a one on intimacy, they march off into the darkness and both characters die, basically. But so here, they um, you gain plus one population. The uncanny newborn survivor's female gains plus one permanent accuracy, monster claw fighting art, order, and quixotic disorders. Does not gain any benefits from being born in the settlement. So, like, she doesn't get... No. I don't know what the be oh the benefit I don't know what the benefits are. Remove this bookmark from your game. Future campaigns oh so once you roll a one you remove this. Future campaigns may roll a d10 on a d6. Start with this in your rule book. Okay, so you guys I guess you put it back and forth into your game. That's cool. I'm really psyched about that. Put that down there. These are some of the the models that I got. This is the Sword Hunter, and for whatever reason. She came in an extra long box because her crew is extra long. She's going to be a little harder to put together because as you can see, she's got like a million of these little rings. Let me show you the artwork here. She's got a million little rings coming off of her. This is the artwork. Isn't she cool? Um, she's got a couple cards in here and, and um, there's the weapon. Huh. She's a little bit more delicate. It's really cool though, gosh. All right, so we're gonna put hair together. Let's see what her, her game card says. Um, do not add this to the set, to the event to the settlement event deck until instructed. An imposing woman strides into the settlement, her back bristling with scabbards. She recites a story, hearing her tale, the gathered survivors, arms droop, limbs at their side, unable to wield weapons or offer con comfort. If the settlement has the Excalibur rare gear, that's what this that's what this is. This is a rare gear. When you die, you cease to exist. Ignore death principle. This gains plus two permanent and this oh the sword gains plus two permanent strength. Oh, it's like the sword sucks up the person. Ew. Okay, interesting. 
Unable to win. Okay, so the settlement has the Excalibur rear gear. The woman dispassionately slays its last wielder and sheathes it on her back. Archive it. She demands the settlement present its blades. Clumsily, saggy armed survivors drag them forward. This is not, this is really bad. It is Kingdom Death. Most of this game is like bad things happen. I'll explain to you what happened on our game. We we played a game last night and it was really bad. And I'll explain it in a little bit. She demands the settlement present his blades clumsy. Da, 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 da. Examining each blade, she samples a spot with her tongue. Nominate each sword, twilight sword, katana, and scimitar in the settlement. Huh. Oh, roll d10 for each nominated weapon. Interesting. Oh, weird. Okay. I don't know what this is. Crest. Okay, so this is a basic hunt event. I guess if you draw this, crusted with flaking layers of dried bud, an obelisk juts from the ground. From its, oh, this is how you get the Excalibur card. You draw this, and then if she shows up, oh, okay. So first you have to draw this, then you get Excalibur, and then well, you only get Excalibur. Let's see. Ooh, you roll a one as your hand grasps the hilt. The arteries of your arms writhe and burst, dead. Yeah, never roll ones in Kingdom Death. They're not not good. And then let's see. Number ten is the sword glides out. Gain the rare Excalibur gear card. Add the sword hunter. So, all right, that's good. We're gonna keep. I'm gonna do this because I want these in my game. I like these little extras. All right, and the last one. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this one. I don't really like it. Have you guys seen this one? This is the. So this is one of the um, sci-fi models. And the reason why I don't like it, it's made with that, that photo resin I don't enjoy. I don't enjoy it. And this, so it happens to be a sci-fi Ezra. So I might end up selling, I think I'll sell that one because I'm not gonna paint her. I don't, like, I don't like working on those. She's not a knight. I collect the knights. So I'm gonna sell her off. All right, which one should I build? We've got five models in front of us. What do you guys want to do? What do you want to see built? So we've got swords. What is her name? Sword Slayer. We've got Ringtail. We've got um, Joan of Arc. We've got the Snake Girl. And we've got, I don't know what this one's called. This one is the very much cyborgy girl. Tell me what you think. Otherwise, I'm going to pick for you. You want me to do a poll? We could do a poll. Do a poll. I like them. All right. Find out how I can. Uh oh, I'm skipping frames again. Dang it! Can are you guys seeing my stream? Got Twitch Inspector going. Tell me if if I start dropping because it says I'm stable. I don't know. I'm confused. Looked fine to you. Okay. It showed two skipped frames detected nine minutes ago. There's nothing wrong. Okay. It's just showing two skipped frames. That's all. I just got nervous. You want the snake? Celestial snake? This one? Snake lady? We got a couple snake ladies. All right, let's do snake lady since we have a few votes for her already. We'll set these gals aside. Lots of gals, lots of ladies. This is a fun model though. All right, let's take this out. I have never worked with this company, never never built anything from this company. Winter! Oh my gosh, let's do a shout out. I'm gonna do a quick shout out for Winter Hide Wolf Studio. Hold on a second here. Can I do that? Yes, I can. Actions, Winter Tide. Now I have this fancy new bot, I can do this better. Who has a long name? Winter Tide Wolf Studio. <laughs> there we go. Actions and shout out. There we go. Did that work? Yes, it did. I love it. <laughs> Thank you so much, Winner. How was your stream? Speaking Beast. Hello. I'm just. Yeah, we're playing. We're gonna. I, does anybody know how to pronounce? Is it? It's Nuva. Nuva or Nuva. I don't know. 
one of those. It's got an umlaut. I'm not good with umlauts. Oh no, what is that? I think that is just a little gate from the casting. I don't think I need that. I'll set it right here. How are you? Love you too. Hello. Welcome everyone from Winter Tide Wolf Studios. We we have a bunch of models we're building today. And we're going to we're just going to have fun. We're trying to recover from so oh, that is going to go together really nice. I don't even see a single gap with that. Need my fancy schmancy clippers. Trader Legions, hello. And oh, let's see, 07 Joe, how do I say your name? 07 Joe Frick? I think that's how I say it. The DNA helix fits in her hand really well. Is there a helix? Oh, I see it. There's a cool helix, we'll get that. Yes, you had a great time, lots of chats, new friends. Gonna go for walkies, awesome. Good, good. Cat Leanne just subscribed, I missed it. How did I miss that? Thank you, Cat Leanne. Let's write you down. Mad love. Welcome. All right, we're good. We're good. Let's cut cut these little sprucies off. Spruce. Oh, they're gonna go flying. Have a great walk. Yes. Oh, winner. Thank you for subscribing. Oh my goodness. So I don't know if you guys can see this up above. We've got this goal. It's probably not going to make it in 26 hours, but every one of those subscriptions will help us toward giving away another one of those awesome hobby bags from Creature Caster. Mad love. Thank you so much, Winner, for subscribing. Five minutes in a row. Fantastic. I think I'm going to use this and put all the little pieces in it. They're not all over my desk. Only 75 subs. We can do it. True. That is true. It would be awesome if we could. We, we might be able to do it. If we do, we unlock another emote, too. That's the other. That's the whole reason for doing this. I want to unlock another emote. Sneaky. Thank you for the subscription. Sneaky Tiny Small. You're going to have to see this. Look at this. He's almost done. You know, Sneaky's a big fan of birds. And look how cute this bird is. And I swear the fairy is way better, way better in person. The fairy doesn't look good on stream for some reason. Oh no. My knife just fell off. Hold on a second. My little clip. I might have to super clip. Hold on, let me try this. A little activator on it this time. Wings on the bird and the fairy look amazing. Thank you. Before you leave, thought that was a real bird. <laughs> a lot of people were saying that they thought it looked like a, um, what you call it, a, like a taxidermy bird. Thought that was really funny. Because, um, you guys know that guy used to be really into realism. Let's do this. Do a little zip kick. There. Now hopefully my mic will stay. There we go. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna huff zip kicker for the rest of the stream. That will be interesting. Ooh, that smells strong. All right. Is this is this is the is the light okay? Is the lighting okay on the screen? Can you guys see okay? I'm just making sure. All right. You're painting your kingfisher. Oh yeah, you need to um, send me a picture of that when you get a chance. I wanna see the kingfisher. Where did you get it from? I can't remember. She's talking about this um, very cute, small sculpt of a kingfisher. And I can't remember who did it. Hey, Teviston, how are you? Go cut away from ourselves. Oh, there we go. 
Perfect. There. Awesome. All right, let's fit. Can we fit this? Yes. Oh, look at that. It just fits like, like amazing. Robot Rocket. He has a small fish in his beak. Ah, awesome. Ooh. All right. I got most of that sprue off with my knife or with my clippers. There you go. You got that snake lady too? She's cool, isn't she? But I have to take my glasses off a second. I can see there's some mold lines right here I gotta get at. Good, there is some mold lines, huh? I don't know. Let's clip this, this is another little through right here. There. Good, good. Might need to go in with some um, files and get into those little tiny mold lines. Or at least my scraper, probably. Maybe that's all I need. Yeah, this is subtle. This, the mold lines are subtle, but I can see them. So I'm going to try to get these off. So what's everybody do, been doing? How was your weekend? How, what did everybody do? Played a lot of, I played a lot of Minecraft on my phone. Because I have the Pocket Edition, Pocket Edition. And I've been enjoying that. And actually for the first time this morning, okay, this is supposed to be flat. That's good to know because that needs to be flat. I need a file. Somewhere here's one. See what people have been working on. You got the snake lady, good. Okay, so let's file, make that nice and flat. There we go. And so that's gonna be what she's that's that's the base she's sitting on. And I'm gonna get some small files out here. I've got a little set of these little diamond files. Modal, hello, how are you? I'm good. We're just talking about there may be some mold lines or slippage on her torso along the sides. Yes. Yeah, a little bit. Um, I gotta look at this. Okay. Yeah, a little bit on the sides. They're they're pretty well filed. Well, we'll get to it. We'll get to it. So, oh, there. See, this is right here. Is this is mold line? I gotta get that. So yeah. Anything new? Anything fun going on? All right, there we go. So let me tell you about our Kingdom Death game. Um, we had friends over to play Kingdom Death, and we do it semi regularly, but we have the same people over every time, so that's really nice. Ooh. Yes, tell us. <laughs> So yeah, so we played Kingdom Death, and um, this was the lantern year where we were supposed to fight the Kingsman for the second time. And if you've ever played Kingdom Death, the Kingsman is not an easy fight. He's got some really annoying traits that come out, and he's just really hard to beat. Well, this, the second time you fight him, he comes back stronger. So he gets harder each time you fight him, which is like... So we already knew we were kind of going to be possibly losing. But before we even sent villagers out to go fight him, we chose people who were not, like they didn't have any hunt XP. They're not, not very important to the settlement. They're not very, they're not experienced, so they don't have any cool abilities. They're, they're not going to do very well 
no matter what happens, probably. I mean, there's, a, there's always a chance, but we were not too confident. So we did not, we did not try to put our best people out there. And I'm glad we didn't because we would have probably, oh, look at this mold line right here. That goes all the way over here. Um, we would have probably lost some really good people if we would have done that. So we sent out our not so great survivors. And then you draw to see what kind of terrain that you get on the board once you once you start the showdown. And you'll never guess what we, we what we drew. Some of you might know if you're in the Kingdom Death group that I'm in, you might have already seen my post this morning. We drew a nightmare tree, which is not a big deal, but we also drew a lonely tree, which combined with a Kingsman, a level two Kingsman, means that we're probably gonna lose the game and get to total party kill as well, TPK. And that is exactly what happened. Because what happens is, <laughs> expendables exactly. <laughs> When um, when you when you have the lonely tree, the first action that the monster takes is to run to the nearest nightmare fruit because the tree drops this fruit, and um, it it will run to the fruit and and basically eat it and then heal from it. Which so we we didn't we did not survive. We got hit by him and then the first one of the first guys who got hit his like whole head exploded it was like gruesome and yeah <laughs> it was it was kind of, I mean so Mike doesn't like to play those kinds of games I feel like it's kingdom death you should play anyway even if you know you're gonna die because that's part of the game it's just the way things are he would rather just be like okay we're dead let's go on and I'm like, I think that is not in the spirit of this game. This game is kind of self-torturous. And maybe you need to enjoy a little self-torture in order to be in this game. I'm not sure. But I feel like it's part of the story and I like it. You know, it, it, for me, it's more, it's almost more of a RPG, uh, you know, than a, than a board game. And Mike plays it more like a board game. He doesn't, he doesn't want to see the part of the story where we all die. Do you, Mike? Are you listening? <laughs> okay. I think I got most of the mole lines cut. At least good as I'm going to get on that piece. Okay. Let's do this tail. Let's see if there's any other little mole lines. Most of the mold lines were on the bottom for that one, so I don't see anything. There's a little one right here. Has anybody here played much actual Kingdom Death? Do you do you kind of cheat and not play the games where you know you're going to die? Or do you go ahead and play them anyway? What what do you think you should do? Mike and I just have completely different playing styles for one. But I'm glad, I'm really glad that it's a cooperative game and that nobody, nobody's playing against each other. Never enjoy that. You played solo a bit. All right, Trader Legions, have a good one. So when you play solo, do you still play the, play the ones? That one would be even harder because at least you don't have anybody, you don't have anybody enjoy the misery with. Because that's the funny thing is, like I said, it's a little bit masochistic. You kind of enjoy like this. The very first time we played with my friend Scott, he was like, this game is bullshit. And um, then right after that, he goes, when can we play again? <laughs> because it is, it is, but it's, it's, it's like, it's so much fun. All right, she is awfully snaky. Look at that. Very, very small more lines in some spots. I don't think I need to worry about the really little ones. Jubauer says, nah, I don't really get Kingdom Death in my neck of the woods. Looks awesome now. Rumble says, I'm learning it, playing to learn it. It's tough to accept some of the ones, 
but some of the game, it's part of the game, so you got to accept it. Yeah, it is. It is definitely. And R.G. Bauer, um, yeah, it'd be tough to get in your neck of the woods, but they do ship worldwide. So I would, if you are, I mean, it's expensive, though. If you're interested, I would wait till the Black Friday sale and try to get it then. That's the time. All right, I just put a little bit of glue in there. Now, fit these two pieces together. They are almost seamless. Woo, that didn't work. Try that again. Hold that for a few seconds. Modal says, not play too much really, but I would like, I would do it the first time to learn the encounter. Then skip if I had the same situation with the same encounter again. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, McLeod. Yay, you made it home. Awesome. Let's see. I'm trying to figure this out. Okay. So she sits up like this, I guess. And her tail kind of wraps around. She's got like a rattle on the end of it. Do I need to up the exposure a little bit? I think I might. Black Friday is as the day after the American Thanksgiving. And that is usually when they do this um, sale. And it's a good sale. Ooh, this is interesting. Can you see this little white piece right in there? That is a piece of the mold. So I'm going to pick that out. You don't need that in there. Sometimes that happens. And I think I need to cut that whole little chunk out as well. Oh, she does have some mold lines on her a little bit. They're not too bad, but just that little bit on her neck. We're just going to scrape everything on her side. Her side looks really pretty good. Just got to go in between the hair. So when this game came out or when, maybe when the Kickstarter came out, I'm not sure. They did this super hype with a bunch of really well-known European painters. And um, everybody got a different model to work on. And they were all painting it at the same time. Now, I think that would be a good marketing scheme, but I don't, I don't know if it if it really sold the game so much, you know. Because painters are not always gamers, and the, especially the painters that they chose are not necessarily gamer gamer painters either. They're like competition light painters, but I could be wrong. All right, I had a where'd it go? I had. Somewhere. I'm looking for hmm, this. Sometimes you can take a back to blade, cut the top off, and then you can use this as a scraper. It doesn't work as good as that nice Citadel tool that I have, which I'm look that's what I'm looking for right now, and I don't see it. Hmm. Hey Nicholas, how are you? Zimer just says I haven't played recently. You have a lonely tree and a dragon king. If you airbrush those Zymer just they go really fast, so don't be intimidated to start those. If you happen to have an airbrush, I recommend. Ooh, look at that. How cool. Very cool. Great, right, she's gonna go together like a dream. Let's go ahead and put some glue in there. We're gonna before we even do that, we're gonna rough up some of this, some of this resin, scratch it up a little bit. Give it a little tooth. We're going to do the little cross hatches in here. Because resin, sometimes if it's real shiny, you got a badger airbrush. Perfect. Did you, which one did you get? Did you get the Patriot 105? That's actually my favorite one. Thank you for the host, Mikolas. I don't want to paint the expansion monsters before wave three hits. It means I have a year at least. Yes. Um, and... I've done a couple of videos. I'm just, if you want to look on YouTube, it kind of might help you because I've done speed painted versions of my own monsters. Because again, I, I want to get my stuff done before wave three hits also because it's going to be nuts. There's going to be so much. There's a lot of people out there that 
I'm really hoping commission me for painting because I'll be honest with you guys, it's been kind of dry this year for commissions. Um, I'm not sure why. I don't know if it's because of me advertising less or because it's probably a combination of everything. People are a little bit less, um, less loose with their game money maybe. Maybe they're buying more games and getting less painting done. Yes, Patriot, yeah, that's good. Awesome, Patriot is my favorite and it, it's just a workhorse and it's awesome. Go. No, I don't want you to do that. I thought all my KDM monsters, or you thought, you thought I had all my KDM monsters in the painting queue. Then I found out my Lion Knight is still in the sprue. You wanna, you jump him. Oh yeah, he's a blast. He's one of the first monsters I painted out of the expansions. And he's definitely cool. Hey, yeah, jump him in the queue, cause he's, he's cool. I just put more glue on things. They weren't, it wasn't holding. This glue was a little old. So I'm gonna sit here and hold this a little bit. Lovely cloak and metals. Yes. Hi, Argy Bauer. What's with the black gloves? Um, it is one to get, cause I always get, um, always get super glue on myself. And so I'm trying to avoid that. And two, um, I'm also um, hiding my manicure cause it really need to, my nails are chipped to heck and I need to get my nails done. I'm going tomorrow. So I wanted to hide how they look now cause they look kind of, they look kind of bad right now. They're really chipped, right? <laughs> so that's the truth. <laughs> and I'm going to scrape this. Good question. So, so going back to the commission thing, if anybody wants something painted, please feel free to contact me and get a quote. I don't have a lot of business right now, so I'm willing to work within budgets and you'll get a spot in the front of my queue, which is really nice. Which means usually um, the month that you book is the month that you'll get stuff back. And I'm willing to do other things. You won't judge your nails. <laughs> Let's take these pieces out. I'm gonna put this clear plastic thing here so I don't lose anything. I can throw that baggie away. All right, let's take out her arms and everything. We'll put her head on last. I don't wanna, ooh, look at this. Everything is really delicate. I feel like I need to turn up the exposure. Just let me see if I can do that a little bit. Maybe we can turn up the brightness instead. Better, can you see better? Yeah, that's better. Okay. We'll cut off this gate. Uh, I want to call it a gate, but I think it's called, I don't remember what, maybe these, um, maybe this is, I think this is called a gate right here, this little big piece right there. And then this is the sprue on that side. So I'll cut the sprue off of this. There we go. Okay, that's going to need some filing. She does have a little space in her hand to hold on to her little DNA helix. Looks really cool. I'm just checking between the fingers and make sure I don't have any flash. Flash is the uh, name for the excess um, resin that goes between the gaps. Looks good already. A little bit of a small line here. Might file that because that's a little rough. I can't tell if that's supposed to be metal or bone, but I don't think we need to have it be so rough either way. Okay, good. 
What the hell? Wait, what the hell? New look for Twitch. Yes, Zab. So Twitch got some new, new, um, new look basically. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Snowyak. Welcome. Let me write down your subscription. Mr. Snowyak, the island painter. Probably the second largest, longest name on my Twitch thing. Mr. Snowyak. The island painter. Ooh, long name, but awesome person. Thank you so much. 13 months in a row. All right, I, my hands are getting sweaty, so I think I will take these off. It's good for airbrushing, but I think right now I can deal. Look, look at these nails. So bad. There's chips. So bad. I need to get them redone. So the next time you, and then all this is where it's grown out. And the trouble is they, when they redo your nails, they take off the polish, but they take it off with the Dremel. And that ends up um, filing the nail down too much. And then it gets um, too thin. It's like paper thin under here. And then it chips underneath the polish, which makes it easier for everything to chip. So not, so not cool. Right, I'm gonna put I've been putting all of the super glue. Let's dry fit that first. That would be smart. Yeah, that needs to be dry fit. Okay. Goes in. There's a little gap. It's not too bad. Alright, we're gonna put put the glue on there. And then we'll hold this in. Like that. This is a nice size model. I don't think she's too big for gaming. I don't know what kind of game this is. This Does anybody ever played Celestial Genesis? I'm curious of uh, what, she, what that game is like now. There's her awesome hand. All glued in. She's very, she's like a cyber, cyber naga. That's cool. I see another piece of mold in there. There we go. Cyber naga. She wants to sit up, but she's kind of unbalanced. I might have to file this a little bit more. Where's my... No actual game. What? Just models? Oh, it's not out yet. Is it going to be kickstarted? Seems so weird, isn't it? That they put out the, the models first. Tell me when they're going to do that. Here's the Keelix. That looks like it needs work. You Now, this is what we call flash. All these little papery pieces that are kind of floating around. And all these little papery pieces that are in between. I'm going to clean all that out before we even take that off the sprue. We're going to look for flash and mold lines. See, there's a nice line right there. Glasses are off. I like to cut with resin. I don't like to file because it just roughs up resin. So I'll just file. I'll just scrape it usually. Ooh, and she's got a mole line in her hand. Looks like she's got something she's holding in both hands because both of her hands have a little di divot for where something goes. Good, good. Okay. There is a sprue. Give me a second, I'll read chat. Ooh, that might need a little filing. Yep, we're gonna file that a little bit. So, so far sound is good. Video quality is good. That's my hope because we had such a rough time on Friday. I was just, I was, really not happy with the way th the way things were going 
definitely don't want to repeat. All right, before I glue that hand in, I need to look at what else she's going to have in hands. Got a little piece of fire, a little flame. Here's her head. All right, let's take a look at this. Let me look at the box real quick. Yes, it's Nuva. How do I say the, how would, how would I pronounce this? Is this a German pronunciation? How would you, Nuva, Nuva? I'm messing that up, I already know that. I can't do umlauts very well. Nu, u. Oh, I thought she had a fire. Where does the fire go? Hmm, so the helix goes in between her hands. Three, where does three go? Three is hair. Okay, it's not fire. Sound quality, sound quality is great today. Awesome, good. <laughs> not fire, yeah, this is, this is her hair. We found out that's her hair. It looked like, it looks like fire though. It looks like it could be sculpted fire. But it's not. Cut that off right there. Doesn't seem to be any mold lines on it. Let's see where this goes. Oh, and I bet this goes on. Huh. Well, we'll find out. Her head is over here. A few gates in her head. Oh, look at this face. Look at that perfect styled face. It's kind of weird because she does have like this girl's, young girl's face, but then she has this very not girly chest. Weird. Not sure why she has the umlaut. Their names are all Chinese, are they? <laughs> That's funny. I didn't know that. All right, let's work on this part of her. Got this little gate right there. That's not a gate. That's a there. All right, glasses are off again, so I can see she does have some little pieces of. It looks like a mold line that you can just cut right out. Sometimes you have to re-sculpt hair when there's a mold line down through hair. Yeah, I imagine that her W and her name is pronounced with the V sound. Kind of like the German. Nuva. But it could be Nua. 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 I don't know. All right, let's clip this off. Hmm. Do this first because I don't want to clip any necessary hair there we go perfect doop do do okay good good looking good A little bit here. I think I had to kind of recarve the hair into her head. Let's see. Yes. Oh wow. So this is a very okay. See the part where her hair goes right there. We can go ahead. I just need to cut off some of the mold lines that are on this part where her head attaches, so that way. It fits together better. Okay. Let's try that now. Always be dry fitting. There, that looks great. Great. Okay. I like to put the glue in the inner part. I'm just going to put a drop here, here. Right under her chin. That is good enough, I think. Good. Then we're going to hold it. Ugh. If there's any gaps, I'll end up filling those later. Got to wait for everything to cure first, though. 
There is a gap under her chin. I'm going to see if I can push that together. Much better. All right. Hang on. I'm going to put glasses on again. Double helix part of the front de part of the desk. Still on the frame. Yeah, we got it. We got it on the frame right here. We're going to put the helix between her hands, but I wanted to get the, it all cleaned off and I was going to clean it off on the sprue. Yes, you can hear me today, Silver Nail. What will I fill the gaps with? They're so organic. Probably get some of this fix it. I've got part A and part B fix it and it seems to go into the gaps pretty quickly. Pretty, pretty nice. Um, and it cures. Cures nice too. It doesn't seem to have any problems. Hello, Freck Dino. How are you? This is a mini Naga kind of character. This is a Naga. She's part snake. See, she's got a rattle. And she is from Celestial Genesis. Her name is Nua or nu or Nuva. I don't know if I said that right. <laughs> she's got some kind of helix in between her hands. She's kind of like a cyber nog, I guess. Best way to describe it. She's really beautiful. Yep, you've seen it online. Hey Jan. Look you you look above you. Did you redeem a gecko? You demand the lizards? All right, I'm going to get out the gecko. Hold on, I'll see who's up. Let me set this right here. Let's get some pieces together. For which Let's see which gecko we can find who is out. Hang on one second. I got tangles right now with cords on my chair. There we go. All right, I feel like there might be a gecko in the main hide. There we go. Oh, good. Nope, no gecko there. No gecko there. That means they're probably, there's a biscuit. Ginger biscuit is here. She is cute as heck. There's a biscuit. Got a little dust on her because she was underneath a log. Oh, she does not like the light. Hold on, let me, let me do my face cam here. There she is. Oh, she don't like the light. <laughs> but she is so cute. There we go. Hello. <laughs> she is a sweetie. Her eyes are a little sensitive and I just did dig her out from her little cave. She had a nice little cave. She weighs 53 grams, which is a good weight for a gecko. Um, it's like 1.9 ounces. What is this? Hold on a second. She's got a little dark spot right here. It's just, I guess it's just natural. What's funny about Ginger is her, um, her coloring, I never notice when she's about to shed because she's already pale. I can never tell when she, I've only seen her shed once. Yay, gecko. Likes the warmth on my hand. I can tell she's kind of dragging her belly across my hand to get the warmth. Yeah, what are you looking at? Are you trying to hide? Trying to hide? Let's step down. Look, it's it's a it's a relation, kind of. Lizard lady. <laughs> Hello, Pixel Cruncher Lamunus. All right, I'm gonna set her. Let's let's do one more cam, so you can see her face again. Here she is. She's tasting me. You're tasting me. I'm trying to support her tail so that she feels secure. All right, I'm gonna set her back in her tank. The gecko has been redeemed. I will put her in here. Be nice and warm. 
There we go. And little gecko TMI, I just saw a little poo in the food bowl, which is great because that means they're still eating. There's there's food out for them. I don't always know when they eat because they, they're so secret. So, yeah. All right. Now, we've got this arm. Did this arm get cleaned up enough? We did. I'm going to take glasses off. How are you, Jan? Let's give a shout out for Jan. Hang on one second. Do this. I love my bot's ability to do shout outs. Hmm. Okay. There's the bot. Spell it right. S. And there we go. Ta da! I love it. All right. Back to building. You're okay, lass? Busy as hell trying to get organized and sorted for October. Oh, cool. Oh, Jan, I want to show you something. Look, one of the things I got at Gen Con, somebody gave me. Oops this infinity bust and we were talking about all painting infinity together or at least at the same time and i got this this is the closest thing that i have but i'm going to be painting her with key lime tandem but i was thinking at least we can all be painting some infinity together i need to be i really need to start painting more gaming models yeah jen and Vark, exactly yeah, I need to paint some more gaming models because I've been doing a lot of display, which is great. But guess what? People only hire you if they see you painting stuff that they want you to paint, right? So there's not a lot of display painting that is, there's not a huge call for display painting, right? It's a, it's a very niche market. Whereas with the gaming models, everybody needs, everybody needs gaming models painted. Even if they're going to do it themselves, they still need them painted. But at least if I'm, I'm going to have to find, I'm going to have to do something. I'm going to have to maybe have a little fire sale or something on my web page or, or not on my Facebook page. All right. So I have great news, by the way, about the um, paint along. So the good news about the paint along is that we are a go very soon. Um, Faustos con contacted me today. He said they are sending out the busts today. So I will let everybody know once we get those in, get those back into the United States and I'll be sending out an email to let everybody know that he's, he's shipping those. And then I'll send out another one once, once they arrive and I'll be getting an estimate on shipping and sending that out to everybody and invoicing everyone who's in the North American group order. If you are not in North America and you want to take part in the paint along, it's not too late. Go to Abyssol, a B, here, let me write it down. Pen. Let's write it down right here above subscribers. A B Y S S O U L dot com. Go to the section where you contact, contact Fausto. Oh, you were thinking about, oh, okay. Well, I'll have to find, <laughs> yes, Katie is gaming models. Um, contact Fausto directly and tell him that you want the ancient one for Shoshi's paint along because there's a special discount he's giving to this and also our um we're doing a special it's a special pre-release so only only us have access to this model until he does his kickstarter so we're kind of like gonna be helping promote the kickstarter but i think it's pretty cool that we get early access exclusive access to this awesome model 
what you get for it's a it's going to be subscriber only stream so once we get the models you're going to want to find out when we're doing the the paint along streams because that's the month you're going to want to subscribe well you want to subscribe anyway because we're, we're giving out massively awesome prizes this past couple months all right we're getting this helix carved out there's all kinds of flash all over this so Jan says that they were thinking about doing the bust um, Arestia, I think that's how you say it. Aresta, wait, Arest, Arestia? Cat Leanne, hello. <laughs> so I'll have to figure something out to get that bust too. Uh, I'll have to find somebody who wants that painted. going I'm going into every single little nook for this thankfully the resin's kind of durable and it's not cracking on me I was oh like that are you kidding me all right I'm gonna glue that right now before we even get any further because pain I wonder if I have to I might have some bondic because I don't think regular super glue is gonna cut it Hi, Sigwolf. How are you doing? Oh, is a Arestia is a game, not a bust. Oh, is it from? Okay. Interesting. I did not know that. Ooh, I heard something snap down there. I wonder. Okay, good. I wanted to make sure I didn't leave my airbrush on we haven't done bondic we i don't have the bondic command guys i'm sorry i'll have to put that one in i think a mod might be able to put it in right there the good thing about bondic is it is a weld not a glue so hopefully this will weld it back together Oh, that worked good good it's probably gonna snap again though I'm gonna have to reinforce it on this side too better only takes four seconds to cure all right, that's good. That's good enough. Paint along, yes. There, okay, I'm gonna take a look at that. Bondic is life. We need to make that a command, don't we? Ah. Okay, oh my gosh, I definitely wanna paint these. These are cute as heck. Are they, I'm not seeing models though, I'm seeing are they chibi? Oh no, they're so cute though. Wow, I like Gata. She's a female cat girl. Oh my gosh, yes, 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 yes. We have to paint these. I'm gonna paint Gata. Oh my gosh, okay, I need to stop looking at those because I don't need more models right now. <laughs> All right, time to clean out the rest of this I wonder if I should just put oh it did again dang it okay I'm gonna take the bondic off and I'm gonna super glue it because that did not work or maybe super glue actually makes the bondic cure faster so let's do do a little bit of super glue that There's really nothing for it to really hold on to too much. All right, I'm going to do a little drop of the accelerant. 
to make it cure quicker. Do you guys see, like, right when we were talking about breaking it, it breaks. It's like, like I'm psychic. <laughs> All right, now we get a paper towel because I got cellarin everywhere. Okay, good, good, good. It is literally everywhere, geez. Okay, that that seems to be holding though. Much better than the Bondic right now. Although my Bondic is getting a little old. It's been a while since I used it. And I don't know how old this is. I don't know how long it lasts either. All right, put this away. All right, this time I'm gonna take my little file and I'm gonna go in between here. I'm gonna import it from the back because that seems to work. So for those of you guys who have put this one, those of you people who have put this one together, had you had to um, did the helix crack on you as well? Ooh, that's working really well. File. There's lots of little pieces on it, though. So. <gasps> it's because I pulled on it. Dang it. Rar, rar. Might be one of those things where I have to take it out and then reattach it. All right, let's let's take it off the, the little bars and see what happens here. And then this piece. Ta da Okay, let me throw that away. That little frame. Never seen this miniature before. You just showed it to us. Really? I thought everybody has seen this. This is a... I saw. I got this at Gen Con. It's called Celestial Genesis. We're building a Celestial Genesis model, Drax. Didn't you build something like this? I could have swore I saw you had, with her. Anyway, she is pretty cool. You can go to shop.celestialgame.com if you want to get your own or there's there's they have their dimension games or die mention games at, at instagram and twitter and then facebook is celestial miniature their instructions are lacking you do have her yeah so did you have trouble with this helix we broke ours already this little helix is already busted but I'm working on it. Like I'm gonna, I don't wanna bust it again. Stick the file in here. All right, it's getting better. Gently filing very fragile resin. Oh, there's another broken spot. Dang it. All right, I think that's as, as much as I'm going to work on that. I'm going to put the blue on here again. And then I'm going to press it. Together so it'll hold and then I'm gonna get this cellar in out again. Let me see if I can just hold it. Now accelerant. And this time I will hmm maybe not use as much as accelerant. There we go.
And also, Drax, did you wait to apply this and to, to put it on the model till after you got her put together? Did you put her together, paint her, and then put it on? Because I feel like that's maybe the direction we should take with this. Too many free radicals. Yes, hi, Amber. Oh, good night, Amberden. Damage DNA, yeah. <laughs> All right, so let's look at this hand, see where this, this appears to go into this other hand. Oh, yes, it does. I'm gonna go ahead and try to put this in now. Hmm, we need a little Something we need like a pin here. Let's use this pin to apply super glue because trying to put super glue on with the bottle is not going to work. That's just the right amount. All right, quickly in here. That's not bad. Okay, accelerant again. Okay. You kind of tried to build her, then freaked out and decided to put it off till later. <laughs> you built the spider lady and the hydra. We have this gal. What is she? She's Is she the spider lady? Yeah, she's a spider lady. Okay, yeah, we've got her as well. Really don't like that super glue. This super glue? It's my favorite. Legs are a pain to align. Oh no. I don't want to hear that. All right, this arm goes down here like this. Ooh, is that even going to fit? No. What is going on? Not quite there. Oh, that's why, because it goes back. All right, let's try that. You have a bottle that nothing sticks. So the thing about this and most super glues that I've used is that they get old with time and they really don't last once you open them. That's why you. I'm mean, always using accelerant with mine. Here we go. You've been using more and more Instaset. Okay. It's a new bottle. Whoa. That's not cool. All right, this might not work. I might have put this in wrong already. Ah, <gasps> nose. I did. Well, fooey, I did. Cut this out. Luckily, it's just in there. I did put the accelerant on though, didn't I, dummy? But maybe it's not completely cured. Maybe we can hope. Ugh, it's cured. Dang it. Hmm. Not coming up. Resin is a little bit bendy. I should have should have fit it first. I should have fit it first. Well, I'll tell you what. Lately, what I've been doing with a bunch of my models is sculpting stuff for myself so that making things work. Might have to do that with this one. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to get it out first though.
There we go. Coming. All right. Well, we cut it off, basically. We're just going to have to move back on. Let's do this. Let's put this on. Hmm. Okay, let me look at the box again. Okay, so it goes like a bridge like this. Yep. Like that. Okay. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. Feel you on that. Need debonder. That's true, ja Jamie. Somewhere. I had some. But resin's hard. It's hard to debond. Lamuna says, I have another bottle of Loctite that you didn't read the back of. It has a set time of 30 minutes and a cure time of 24 hours. Yeah. Yeah, I can heat it up and reshape a little bit. We can push your arms together a little bit as well. I can... Here, let me put this in. Yeah, I can make it work. This is going to go right there. A little bit of that. What I get for breaking it in the first place. Okay. Come on. I have to take my glasses off so I can see stuff. No. Yeah, it doesn't want to set right away, does it? That fits. Now we will get the accelerant. Doesn't want to. Man. I hope you guys enjoy this. This is like the most. Oh, wait. Now, accelerant. That's the worst thing is dumping a bottle of accelerant over. Worst. There. All right. Good. Now, that other little piece that probably just disappeared off my table. There it is. We can make it work. Yeah, I will. I will probably end up reshaping this because that clearly doesn't go all the way across. Hmm. So this is where I go and I get my little awesome fix it. We're gonna make. Uh, let me try saying hi. Hi, Sig Wolf. I thought I said hi before. Did you miss me? How are you, Sig Wolf? Can you hear me now? I know I said hi before. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> there we go. Well, how are you? Get out a little bit of this stuff. So we make even parts. No, not my fault. Okay, good. Say, I thought I remember saying hi. There we go. All right. We're going to make two equal parts of those. Let's see if this matches. About equal. All right. So now we're going to press those together. I like to make a little pancake and then roll it into a rope. Oop. Doesn't want to combine. Wait. And now we'll mix and mix and mix. There we go. That will be good. They say you want to have as much equal as you can. You want it to be com thoroughly combined. You don't want to see any little marblings or anything inside of it. You want to do that. Okay, 
So now I'm going to make little ropes. I'm going to basically design my own little helix here. I'm going to attempt to anyway. This piece I can glue back on. Yep, let's try to let's try. Let's first I'm going to put the glue down on this side and then I'll put the Ooh, that's too much. Got a little too much glue on her hand, but then I'm going to put accelerant on the other piece and see if that will make it attach faster. Rah. All right, I'll work. All right, it's working enough. I might be able to, yeah, I might be able to do something here. Basically, I'm just gonna try to attach the two little ropes together with this. And after that, she's, except for that piece of hair. Where's that piece of hair? No! Did it fall? Did somebody see it? Are you kidding me? Oh, that must have been what fell on the floor earlier. Hold on, I think I'm gonna, I could have swore I heard something fall earlier. Yep, here it is. Thank goodness, I remembered that. This will give this a little time to cure while we glue on this hair. So let's cut off the end of this. Glasses off again. Here we go. This is a more piece of. Here we go. Okay. And then I'm going to put glue on this part instead and a little accelerant inner well I don't want to do that yet I'm just going to put this in oh that fits really well thank goodness because I did not dry fit it Ooh, it fits so well that it falls right out <laughs> no gap all right, I'm gonna leave that because even though it's got a gap, I can fill that later with, just cause I cut that off. I fill that with the, um, the fix it, the fix it. A little drop of accelerant in that, there we go. These are, I think Drax is right. Maybe we could, no, it's not going to work together to push those together. We're just going to, we're going to cross the, cross the barrier with the, <laughs> all right, it's a little piece. Let's get my sculpting tools. I've got two somewhere in, here's one, here's the other. I need to buy more because these are awesome. Somewhere I have some more. And I need my Exacto. I'm gonna cut it longer than I need it, and then I can drape it over the spot. Oh, I just dropped it. Didn't I drop it? Come on. That's why I can't take my glasses off, because I can't see what I'm doing. Let's do that again. We're gonna make a thin piece again. Roll that out. Where's your, where's her pasty? It kind of has metal ones on. Um, I guess I could cut those off if I need to. She's got these weird metal pasties on. And I guess like, let's see, we could make this twitch safe by putting on some, here we go. We'll give her one. We're gonna need some for the other ones anyway. Across the streams, exactly. All right, hopefully this won't get in the way of stuff. 
So, like I said before, sometimes censoring models makes it worse. This is the case. All right, we're gonna roll that out even thinner because this little rope needs to be super thin. All right, that's perfect. And there we go. I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna attach this side. Ooh, that's way too long. Do half that. And also, let me see what see what happens when I flatten this out a little bit. Maybe it'll be easier to control. Yeah, I made it a little bit flat by just brushing it with this um, wedge-shaped. Palo so Pep, thank you for the subscription. Let's write your name down. Give me one second here. Oops. There we go. All right, there's our piece. All right, prayer circle. Wait, I see something. Might be able to. No, this piece goes here, and that piece goes there. So process, it's gotta, or maybe. I can glue that. Yeah, I'm going to try to glue that. It's almost touching. This is the part where you fake it till you make it because it's not going to be perfect. But at least we're trying to build this model of Hollis Pep and she's fighting me a little bit. Howdy. Wow. Five months of woot. Thank you for the amazing streams. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right, and then we can do here. Ooh, that's a little wide, I just realized. All right, I'm going to cut it. It's like brain surgery, guys. No, just cracked. I'm gonna put my fingernail under it to. Ah, oh, you kidding me? All right, I'm just gonna. That actually makes it easier in some ways because now, now I can add this across. Now that it's across, I can kind of smush it to the model and fix it. And blend it a little bit, blend it in. Yeah, that's gonna that's gonna work eventually. Let's see if we can glue that now. We're gonna put a little bit of the fix it into our hand so that it can we can stick it to the hand with the fix it. No way could I do that. I'm amazed. Hi, Tiger Mojo. Hello. Didn't add that DNA string, string thing. It just filled the holes in your hands so too fiddly. It is fiddly. It's very fiddly. It's not, not fun either. I would, I would do the same thing, but I, I don't know. I'm a little bit of a mascus. I do play Kingdom Death, right? So we're going to put this piece of Fix It on her hand. and push this into, I need a little water on this to get this to kind of smooth out. There we go, perfect. Make sure there's no little gaps in here. It also kind of hides the roughness that was created. Let me get that. 
Now I can sort of push this into the fix it, not quite. Do this on the end of this piece. See how I did that? No, come on. Now I'm trying to hold it together while I mush them together. No, stay. It may not work. It may look like a big piece of junk. It, like it is looking like a big piece of junk. All right, take that off. When you don't succeed, try, try again, or throw it through a window. Right there. Ooh. All right, let's scratch that all off. And maybe try super glue again. And then, once it's cured, then maybe we can mold around it. Let's try, try super glue on this side. Ah. There we go. A little bit of needs to set on the hand. A lot of ends to set. I made like a little puddle in the middle of her hand. Ooh. Go. Now that it's fixed together, I'm gonna leave it. And yeah, I'm gonna leave it. It's very fiddly. So we're, she's all glued together at least. We can go ahead and set her aside. I'll put her in this little plastic box for safekeeping. Her up here. Oh, she looks like she's gonna rattle around. All right, and this we will hold on to because we're gonna need that probably for the next one. We'll do the other celestial one since we now we know what a pain these are. Let's see how this one goes. Personally, we'd probably use a piece of wire and pin it, reinforce the strand. Yes, how often have you seen me pin? I don't know, I'm, I'm such a lazy pa person when it comes to pinning. And, all right, where am I gonna put this? Let's just take out the pieces. Oh, how cute. That neat, she sort of has pasties. We do need a, bo a booty pasty for her. Oh, wow, just the base alone on this is amazing. Look at that. Pretty dang cool. Big chunk of resin we gotta take off there. There's a lot of little legs and pieces. Oh, and there's another piece down in here. This one is, what in the heck, that's a weird claw leg. Weird. Um, so this is another Celestial Genesis figure. I'll get out the box for her. Hang on a second. She's kind of like a spider lady. I'll set this right here. Okay, the box is right here. She, yeah, she's like a spider lady kind of thing. Cyber spider. She is Zhurong, 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 overlord of the eternal flame. And she doesn't have good directions either. She's 140 millimeters tall. She's gorgeous, though. Cool as hell. Cool. All right, she's got, if I've got all the pieces, we've got the base is nine. Wait, where's one? There should be a head. Oh, it's all probably in here. You sense sub-assemblies. I sense them too. I kind of don't want to sub-assemble though. I kind of want to just spray and paint. Ugh, look at these legs. All right, there's a hand. There's a teeny hand. More like, okay, so these. Well, that's like one arm, I think. And then she's got are really, really delicate. Okay, so we've got 
Where's the head? This is the head. No? No, nope, that's a body. <gasps> Where's the head? There isn't one. Was there one? And I missed it? I don't think she has a head. Wow. Hold on. There it is. Ah, scared me. This is the head right here in the bottom of the box and I missed it. Right there. She has no head, therefore she did. Yeah, exactly. All right, here it is. That's her face, tiny face. So different compared to the other one. Very different. All right, so let me look at the box again. Make sure we got the pieces since we already had one go rogue. It can be only one. All right, this is number one. Number two is the body. There we go. Let's set these the way they are on the box. One, two, um, three. That is cool as heck. She is sharp. Look at that. Three, four is this arm, five is the stretched arm, that's the stretched arm. Whoever, whoever sculpted this was really crazy, because this is not easy. Okay, five, six is this one? No. That one? Hmm. Yeah, I think this is I'm trying to figure out which okay, there. That's six. It's I think it's broken a piece off though. What? Seven. I'm confused. And this is, yeah, there's weird, this doesn't match. Hold on, look at this, guys. This doesn't, All right. <laughs> they, the legs they list, one, they list as one piece, but it comes in two parts. That took you two hours to figure out. The pick is wrong. Okay, so page six is, this piece and this piece which one goes with it though that one there okay yeah that's six that's so lame that's not a good kit if you're gonna list it on the box do it right it's not even a scale either because it's showing the body showing the body the same size and look at this is not at all the same size all right points off Points off for Celestial Genesis for kind of not doing that the best they could. And then this one, I guess that goes here. Wait, no, it goes like this. Yeah, okay, so those two are connected as well. So that's seven. And then this leg is eight. And then the base is nine. Okay, I do have all the pieces. That's so weird. That's because it's in booty scale. <laughs> Let's put these two together because they're the weirdest and they're gonna take more time to cure. Oh man, I'm glad that you're here, Jack Drax, because otherwise I would have been really frustrated and really confused. All right, glasses are off. I'm gonna try to get this to be clean. Kind of at the point where like you want to get things as clean as possible but you know when when something's this difficult do you care that much yeah i guess we will <laughs> it's kind of a cool model though i think i think it would do pretty well in a sci-fi kind of show i don't really do sci-fi so that's this is going to be really interesting isn't it 
because I don't really paint sci-fi very much. I think we should dry brush her a lot like we did with the uh, the one bust from um, Scale 75. That was funny. She came out great. Dry brush to heck. Right. What's cool about this armor is it's kind of organic. It's not smooth. It's kind of like bug armor. And I think I can work with that because, like I said, it's 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 an organic weird armor. All right, that's good. You think your anime kits are booty scale? <laughs> Sci-fi is just fantasy with more OSL. Yes, that's true. <laughs> She's one of your favorite out of the bunch. You went and got their new Loth mini as well. That's cool. So you like what? So they don't have a game yet, but they're going to get one, right? Is that the deal? Are you going to are you going to play the game drags? I never got this many because I don't. So they gave her to me at Gen Con. They said, here, take her and see what you can do with her. And I'm like, okay, because you know what? I don't really do sci-fi, but maybe like Silver Nail Sales, it's just, it's just fantasy with OSL and dry brushing, right? <laughs> All right, let me look at my box. This one I'm going to pin. I think Lamunas is right. We should pin this bit. Oh, that is, is that going to be too big? No, I think we'll be okay. All right. Put the drill bit in there. I like this drill. My friend Michelle got this drill for me. I like that. What is OSL? OSL is off source lighting. I think. Off source lighting? Does that sound right? Object source lighting. Tiger Mob. Thank you so much. Tiger Mojo, actually. That worked. Yeah. Object source lighting. That means like a, a this the lighting is coming from an object and not from the sun or f, you know from like overhead lighting. So that means it there's like a glow coming off of something. All right, that's good. I like the resin's night. The resin's kind of soft. Tiger mom. Oh, tiger mom. That's cool. I'll, okay, I like Maja too. All right, tiger mom. You're only short three of them. That's cool, Drax. You should definitely play the game then. Think of Dark Vader's lightsaber glow reflecting on his helmet. That's OSL. Yes. Yes. Silvernail just got it right. Or like if you're holding a lantern from Kingdom Death and the light is shining onto the ground. That is also OSL. I'm looking for a pan. Sometimes I use paper clips and I have a bunch in here. This is brass rod. I don't know if I have the right size brass rod. Here we go. Paper clip to the rescue. I hope that's big enough. Is that the one I cut? I did? No. Nope. Nope. Is it this one? Yes. Okay, that fits perfect. I just need to drill the hole a little bit more. Your tiger. I did. T I said tiger mom. I swore I said tiger mojo, but you might be right. Tiger Mojo. <laughs> Sometimes when I get flustered, I mumble my words together. I will be more concise. Hmm. Did you did so we're skipping a we're missing a little frames. It's not as bad as before. It looks like 40 minutes ago we lost some frames, but it's not bad. Not like before. Maybe Mike can help me tweak it a little bit more. So that's good. Okay. So this is the part I'm going to fit the pin into. So that is not the part that I want to put the glue in yet. Let's drill that just a little bit more. Don't worry about it. She calls me Lamunus. Lamunus. I know. 
<laughs> I'm <Lemonous. laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> you and your your uh, funny uh, names there. Okay. What? That one goes to the seven. This one goes. Oh. Yes. I'm so confused. Oh, this gets cut off. That's why. Hmm. Clippers, where'd you go, Clippers? Here we go. The bot, hello. Having problems assembling the flyer night, flower night, and white speaker, Nico. There are no, no, there are no instructions. Nico, uh, go to. There's a website you can go to that has pretty decent instruct instructions. It's called. Um, vibrantlantern.com. Oh, it's been a while. It has been. It's been forever, actually. Go to Vibrant Lantern. That might have instructions for Nico for sure. And definitely the Flower Knight as well, especially if you've got. Well, I don't know. If you have the resin one, it should be able to. You should be able to use either one. Dodo has videos. Oh, that's right. Dodo does have video. Dodo has hilarious videos. But aren't they, are they through Patreon or are they they're on YouTube? All right. Model newbie. Hey, Shoshi's Minis. Been lurking but had an idea for the paint uh, on the spider. Blue tarantula. That's a good idea. This is the picture of the box art. I think blue tarantula would work well with this. Be kind of cool. I like it. I like the idea. I might take it. Oh, they're on YouTube. Okay, good. You made the mistake of taking statistics, macroeconomics, and counting. Ooh, I, ooh, that was not my thing at all. Okay, so, like I said, this armor is not, it's not metal armor. It's like some kind of um, bone armor kind of thing. There is mold lines though. You have to take care and get them all. Good. I'm just looking everywhere now. Ooh, I found a good one. There's a mold line. Okay, we should probably take a stretch break here in a minute. This goes into, hold on, let me get my glasses on. This piece is this piece up here and it goes like this. Uh, oh wait, that doesn't seem to work. Man. Jax, I think we're gonna take a couple hours to figure it out too. Why is it so hard? Well, this is okay. I think it is these two pieces. Yes, yes, wait, yes, okay. This piece goes that way, and this piece, no, hey, oh, wait, there it is. That's it, just like that. Weird, what a pain in the tuchus. Sneaky night night. You have a good night, Sneaky. Good luck on your interview. Canada Burb, you send me. Okay, good. Easier to start start with the backpack. Then the two legs that go into the base. Okay. But what I, I want to put the two legs together, though. Maybe I should do that. So I want to show you guys something before I drill this. I want to I at least pin these two together before we... Glue them on. I'm going to make an X across the top of this. Like that. Make an X into the into the resin. And then you put the Dremel in the center of the X and slowly turn it until you have a beginning of the hole. See? This is very soft resin. There we go. And we'll be able to pin it in a minute. Pin it in a minute. Pin it in a minute. Pin 
This is definitely a kind of, you want to pin this girl big time. We're going to make her really strong because that other girl we just didn't do much with. So we're going to make this girl strong. I have a feeling that my friend Michelle would love this, love this model. Totally the upper alley. So I've been thinking about entering Golden Demon and I will tell you why. From like a marketing standpoint, I think I need to kind of make sure people know that I can paint DW and I can paint it, you know, nice. And so even if I don't even, even if I don't even win or even if I don't even get a finalist pin, nothing, it's going to be worth it to enter. So I'm thinking about it. All right, that's good. Let's do, put that in. We need to drill that a little bit further. I want to make sure the pin goes in far enough. Good. Now, glue. Let's put the glue on the pin the glasses on the face all right but yeah like I said I've been thinking about golden demon I don't know what to paint for it but I'm gonna go for it I'm gonna try it I just have to look and figure out what I want to paint I do have some I do, I do have and I think you can enter forge world at golden demon right because I have a forge world model but I could paint for it. It's nothing big, but it's nice. All right, I'm gonna cut this right about here. Do it right there. I don't want the pin to be too long. Ah, there we go. You have a morathal? What? Well, send me a link. I don't know what that looks like. But yeah, I'm. I would be happy to take a model that you have and paint it, Lamunas, because. Because I don't want to pay for stuff <laughs> that I'm not going to use. Right, this goes here. And this is not working. Why isn't this the wrong one? Nope. Yes. Let me get the angles. There. There we go. That's it. I did it. All right, I'm going to glue that. It was fun to paint. Okay, let me look at her. Daughters of Cain, Marathi. Ooh, that's cool. Hmm. I do like her. Um, what do you think? What and what also tell me a little bit about or what color? Ooh, there's a blue one. Same. There's some really pretty ones in here. What would I? What would you think that I could do to showify it? How could I put a? Because I mean, that's the thing about GW, right? They all look the same. They all look the same. It looks like daughters of Cain have red and gold as their colors. They're like the scorn, right? They're like the scorn of probably going to piss some people off by me saying that. <laughs> All right, let's put glue on this just like we did before. Glue, where's the glue? There it is. There we go. That looks good. All right, one leg, one leg down. I think.
think you're right about the backpack though. I think we should easier to start with the backpack, then get the two legs that go down into the base. Okay, so how does this go on? Oh, right here. Oof, look at that tiny, just how in the heck are you supposed to attach that? Like that. All right, all right, let's do the backpack. Did you do the backpack and then, did you do the backpack and then the body, or did you do, what did you do? Did you, tell me what you did. There's a lot of mold lines on the backpack. I'm just looking and looking, seeing if I can find mold lines. They're little. Oh, is that flash? No, that's not flash. That's flash right back there. Hmm. Okay, that looks good. Like a little piece broke off on this little whatever this is. Well, get clips, clippers. Keep setting them down. Put the okay. So put the body in there. Get an enemy model and turn it into a battle. Ooh, that's that's a lot. I think I want to go single model like just simplify if i'm going to do a big piece like that i don't want to do a whole battle it's funny because golden demon you're supposed to really stretch your creativity and all of that i don't know what i want to do part of me wants to do a very painterly is based on um, a painting. I want to do a painting version of a Warhammer model that's very iconic because there's so much artwork out there and so many people just paint GW style and boring. You know, there's going to be a million of that, right? But there's not going to be anything based off some fine art or based off some 2D art of GW. And I think that'd be interesting to me to see what I could pull off for that. All right, let's do the body. That's her body. She does have a booty. She's thick. She do, unfortunately, got some mold lines thick. Yep. We're going to get that off. All right, good, good. She's got a lot of cyber stuff going on in her legs and her joints. Um, all lines. <sighs> okay. This is not an, an this is not an easy model to put together. Let me just say that. This one is harder than the other one. But that might end up making it more satisfying to com complete, too. Who knows? Okay, we're going to cut this right here. Ta-da. All right, good. She's got little, oh, cool. She's got little cool cables for hair. Checking her feet. More lines, which one? And on this side, no, no, no. Okay, right here. And right on the booty. 
Now. Rape that booty. Yep. Have you seen that guy that does the Blanche style painting? Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking. Um, I really like his work and he's so iconic. And I think that's, that'd be more fun to do something like that. Exactly. You got me. I'm going to take it. I'm going to take a little break and take some drink and we're going to stretch. Let's do a little stretch break. Everybody who wants to get up and stretch. Now is the time. Stretch. Oh, definitely good. Roll your shoulders. You guys see my neon pink eyeshadow today? <laughs> Blanche is the Golden Girls. No, not that Blanche. John, I think it's John Blanche is his name. Just had a dark berry Dr. Pepper. Mmm. That sounds good. Apparently, Texas loves Dr. Pepper. In fact, I guess at the Whataburger, you can get a Dr. Pepper Icy. Or, no, a Dr. Pepper Float, which sounds interesting. I prefer root beer to Dr. Pepper Floats. But... Sounds good. If you like Dr. Pepper, you might like a Dr. Pepper float. All right, let's go back and work. Model Newbie says, GW has several figures with angelic wings where you could take a very airy Renaissance style. That's possible, possible. Thing about that is that it's very, still very stylized and not, I mean, we'll see. I kind of want to, I, part of me wants to do something a little basic, sometimes something, you know, like, I don't know. I really kind of want to do a death jester, too. That's not basic at all, but I could do that. All right, I'm going to take her head, and I'm going to cut this part off. I can see if I got any mole lines. There's one. Oh, there's a big one. Okay. All right, got the mold lines. Let's see about putting the head on here. Ooh. How's that fit? Oh. That's weird. She's, oh, that's right. She's kind of laying back. Got it weird. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Glue, glue, glue. Not on that piece. Do it on this piece. Right there. Okay, we're going to hold it. A skosh. I think I'm going to need some gap filling back there. We can use the, uh, we can use the fix it to do that with. Cool. She's good. Let me look at it. Let me look at this here. Yep. That's right. It's so weird, but yep. Put this leg on. That needs to be cut. We can probably pin that leg too. Wait, what? What new Eldar? Is there a new Eldar? I want a new Eldar. Oh, I did not know about the new Eldar. I knew, I heard about there was going to be a new Eldar, but I didn't know. Tell me about the new Eldar. Is there going to be new jest death jesters? I probably should do new than old because aren't they funny about taking people? I mean, isn't there like a whole, you have to 
pick out stuff that you think they're going to like because it's new so that they w they show it. You know what I mean? Do you think it's going to be hard to get a golden demon because everybody and their mom enters it? Is it going to be like Crystal Brush, or is it going to be easier than Crystal Brush? Crystal Brush was crazy difficult to even even get past preliminaries judging. Like, to get online on Crystal Brush was almost like its own win. I don't know anything about Golden Demon, though. What about Dark Eldar? Either, wait, either Jane Czar or Drazar. Drazar? Okay. So there we go. We're going to pin this leg. But yeah, we definitely want to pin this leg. And again, we're going to X, put an X on the little button here. Probably going to dr drill it right off, in fact. And then put the pin in the middle, or rather the drill bit in the middle. Okay, I'm just going to cut it off because it doesn't look like it's going to suit me. There we go. Just going to be excess drilling. Right there. One of the things I like about creature caster models is that they have holes already set right where you need to drill that are perfectly lined up with each other. It's a really nice time saving convenience. Which is especially nice because those models are very large and you don't want to drill those wrong. So question is that is that um winged woman is she is she sci-fi or is she fantasy as she like is she warhammer fantasy or is she not that's what i'm curious about we lost our music didn't we hold on a second i'm going to play some of our other music and see what happens marathi is marathi from Sigmar, or is she from Warhammer? Okay, we're gonna play play some of the playlist here that I've got and file. Here we go. The ones you've seen of her are fantasy. Yeah, Marathi's fantasy. Okay. Well, that's possible. We could do that. I don't want to do a regular Warhammer 40k one too. I mean, there's plenty of time. We just need to get moving on them if we're going to do that. I, I think the Dark Elder. Now, Dark Elder, does that go into fantasy or can I put that into sci-fi? I think... I thought Eldar were in sci were kind of like sci-fi. They're the space elves. Those dwarves, if those are still around, I wouldn't mind doing those too. They're pretty awesome. Okay, so we're going to pin this, 
Ooh, that is not deep enough. This one is a lot more intensive model. I mean, a lot more labor intensive to build. But maybe, you know, if you like building, that's going to be, that's going to be on your, you're going to like that. All right. Let's see if I got all the pieces of resin out of there. A little bit of glue. All right. I'm gonna dab a little bit off. Perfect. And then where's my clippers? Put that and then I think that will go right in that hole. Perfect, perfect. Oh my gosh, lovely. And then we can put some glue on that pin and spot right there. And just hold that. Very cool, very cool. He has a giant booty. I just realized that. I'm like, dang. <laughs> Especially since her face is so small. It's like, what face? She doesn't have a face. It's like tiny little face. Can you see this face? Her face is smaller than her boob. And her boob is smaller than her one butt cheek. I... <laughs> All right. Let's do this here. Let's get this base ready. Like I said, this is kind of soft resin. I don't think I'm going to have... Hi, Brubaka. How are you? That's what happens when you don't walk on your own legs. No, that's... I disagree. I disagree. You need to walk on your own legs to get a good booty. Have you seen my... <laughs> oh, no. I broke it. You have to... <laughs> for all of us couch potatoes, I'll speak for myself. You got to walk to get a good booty. Ooh, there we go. All right, I can glue, I can glue that back on. Maybe. Yeah. Let's glue that and then we'll sand it on this side. After actually, no, let's sand it now. Sand it while it's off. Find my sanding stick. Somewhere. I need a jeweler saw. I do. I have one. I don't know where. I think it's in the drawer. But you're right. I do need a jeweler saw. Also, don't do this at home. Don't sand resin without a mask. A mask on right now. I'll hold my breath. Almost good enough. The jeweler saw might have eliminated some of this, right? Yeah. See all that powder? That is toxic. Don't breathe it or smell it or huff it or anything. It's nasty. All right. And we're going to click this to the sear. Oops. I'll make sure that's on there nice. All right. I'm going to leave that. And I just noticed this is a little chip, which this is still curing, so there's still time. Go ahead and add that. And then we can file it off at that later date. Later date. See if I can make that fit. 
What you can also do is saw it underwater. That is true. That's actually the best. That's even better than wearing a mask because then the particles just go down the drain. Okay. Where'd my knife go? Here we go. Let's see if I can slice this. See, we fixed the little chip. Nice. Okay. Ooh, this is not fun. Right here is like rough. It was causing it to do the file. Good. Good enough. Tried that once and you lost a part down the drain. <laughs> yes, and it's also a possibility of, of having happen. Not a good thing. You could also just do it in a boil, like a bowl of water, maybe. That might be better. Another option. It's easier if you have a bowl. Yeah, that's what Drax said. All right, there's my base. It looks good. It's flat on the surface and looks nice now. I'm going to have to fix that little chip a little bit more. All I do is press that toward the back and then I kind of cut it off at the angle. There. And what I would normally do is not mess with this too much, but just leave it and then sand it later after it cures. I'll just leave it. I'll leave it. It's, it's going to be fine. Did we get any gaps or anything? Let's see. Nope. Good, good. Good. No gaps. Well, nope, there is a gap. So while this is still curing, I can grab my, my little sculpting tool here. Make a tiny, tiny little rope of this. There we go. And Ooh, it needs to be even smaller. And it's, see, there's little resin bits on the desk now that I'm rolling stuff in, which is not good. Okay. Let's try this again. There. Let me pick this up. Where's her head? There it is. And what I just do is try to smush it into the into the gap. Here's my sculpting tool. Here it is. I get this wet. And I'm just going to push this. Fix it. It's called fix it. It's basically similar to. Ooh, it's similar to. Um, what's it called? Epoxy sculpt. Let's take this piece. Yeah, I think that's all I need is that little little piece. And if I can't push it in there, then I don't it doesn't need to be there. And that's, that fixed it. There we go. When we prime over that, you're not even going to be able to see where there was even a gap. Another small gap right there. I think I've got a piece. Try not to get it in her hair. 
because she's got these very fine little cables for hair. And if we push the epoxy sculpt or the uh, fix it into it, then it's gonna we're gonna lose the detail on that. That is completely fixed. All right, let's look. I don't see anything else on her. Good. Okay, where's that backpack? Our backpack. This is the box. Shall we, did you pin the backpack too? Shall we pin it? Shall we pin everything? Shall we be good and pin everything? We should pin it. Let's do it. All right. Notice that the square has a hole in it, which makes it really easy to line up the center of the place where you want the pin. Now this is the innie, and we'll put the Audi on the other piece. Positive and negative, male and female, there we go. Be good. And let's try putting a piece of wire in it. <sighs> Did I lose it again? Oh, my pin just disappeared. Here it is. Maybe you can use an empty ice cream bucket. Yeah, that's a good idea. Anything like that would work. For a popcorn bucket. Sometimes you can go to the movies and get these giant popcorn buckets. All right. Let's try the pin. I just need to fit enough. Crazy. All right. Okay, now the other piece was on our back, right? We're gonna, the other, so the other way to find the center of a square, you guys know this from geometry class, you go from corner to corner, make that X, right? As close as you can anyway, see? And then the center is that, take your little exacto, make a pilot hole where you start a hole, and you just twist it and then Put your drill bit in the middle. And that, you can use this on, like if you're doing little, the um, Space Marine guns and you're trying to drill out the gun, that's how you do it. Like you make that little X down top of the gun and then you can fit your, drum, your drill bit on it better. I like the fact that we're pinning everything. I think it's gonna hold together better. Filling all the gaps, we're making a nice model. Be good. This part of the the this part of the model is not very thick, so I don't want to drill too far. Now let's get off. Cleaning it out a little bit so I can get the pin in nice. Now, I'm going to put, again, I think the, the trick of putting the glue on the pin has been working for me pretty well. That will be good. All right, now, put this in. Oh, ooh, that might be too much, so I can take some of that off. There we go. Like it? And now we can clip it. I'm gonna make it a little bit short. Go. Woo. Then the backpack we can put again. Let's dry fit it first. I might need to. Might need to. No, that's great. Crap. I feel very boss right now because pinning is going so well for me. That's not something I'm usually good at or have, enjoy. 
So there we go. There's some glue. I feel like that might be too much glue, so I'm going to take some of that off. Better. Go. I want to hold it together. Now I see, see some mold lines or some gaps. I guess I could go ahead and fill those a little bit. Let's get this dust off here. Since we're gluing and pinning and doing all the good things, we're going to continue doing the good things. These are good studio habits to make. Especially because you never know when something's going to be like your best work. And you don't want to like ruin it by having like mole lines on places. Just get in the habit of getting that, that model cleaned up. Let me get some water on here. Water. Push that into the crevices. And maybe in the days I would have used some Bondic, but now I'm using a lot more of this Fix It. I feel like it does um, a little bit better job than when uh, Bondic seems to kind of it doesn't it doesn't work so much for well it works good for certain things. Let's just say that it is light though, right? <laughs> All right. There are some hidden little Yeah, I can really smash that in there. And now it looks like now see how this skin is pulling over here. It actually looks like this backpack is part of her now because we filled that gap. We need to fill this gap over here too. When, as it cures, it starts getting less pliable. It doesn't stick as much. That's why I use the water to help me get it there. Water, 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 water. Perfect. And then this piece can go in the back. I still see a giant mold line across her tuchus. We're going to have to get rid of that. Can't be having tuchus mold lines. Especially when your tuchus is this zoftic. Zoftic. All right, there we go. All right, I'm going to scrape this. good all right I like the fact that those are oh you get that too shouldn't I there's a little bit more of a, of a big of a gap right up there and up here and right behind her arm it was trickier because it's not as obvious What I did was, ooh, no, it's not working. Hold on, let me push it in. Because it's curing so quick, so it's not sticking nice. Hmm. All right, grab water. That's better. Okay, so I had too much. So I can just go ahead, now that it's pushed in to the crevice, I can take out the excess. There's plenty of that. Much better. And then the water. 
water will smooth it all down because at the moment it's kind of crusty and crumbly. Need it. We don't really need, I don't think we need anything because I don't feel like, I don't feel like there's a gap up there. Looks good. Looks good. There is, is this a gap or is that, I can't tell. Do you, Drax, do you know, is this a gap or is that part of the, nope, that's part of the model. This right here, supposed to be there. I don't want to fill that. Hello, Monica Soundgirl, how are you? We're putting together this model. It's called um, Zhurong, the Overlord of the Eternal Flame. She's kind of like a spider, cyborg lady, android thing. Pretty cool though. Been getting there with her. A little bit tricky to put together for sure. All right, so how does this go? This piece goes up here. I think this, oh yeah, we gotta put arms on first. Drax, did you put the arms on before you put the legs on? Oh, look at that, That's crazy cool. I feel like I have to pin that, but there's no way I'm gonna get a pin into that little slice. You're painting, so you're good? Good, awesome. Yeah, that's molded, okay. This. Did you pin this part? I'll just glue this part. Leave it. I like how everything is pinned. Everything feels really solid now. You got stuck, no inspiration. So what are you working on? Let's talk. What are, if you wanna um, send, who's on? Lamunis is my mod. If you wanna send a picture or a link to a picture to him, he can post it in channel if it's work safe. And we can talk about what you need to do. What you need to get some more information. More, more, more inspiration. Information for inspiration. If you want. No, no pressure. Okay. Let's see. I'm just looking for mold lines on this leg. I think I already got them. No, I did not. Looking, looking, looking. Okay, good, good. These are keep missing. There we go. Ooh, I almost sliced my finger. Just a minute there. But you're back. Oh, good. I'm glad you're back. Okay, good. So this piece goes like this. We're going to take this piece off right here. Oh, look at that. This has some magnetic properties. I've been finding that lately. There's something magnetizing things on my desk. Um, like that magnetized? No. What about this? There. These, um, these tools get magnetized. I don't know why. The GW tools. Oh, whoa. I don't know if you can see this, but this has a hole in it from resin. So we're gonna get the little stuff and push that into there. It's getting cured right away. So I'm just gonna cut that around. Yeah, I did that, I pressed it in. Got the excess, and then I'm going to go around the edge. So we're basically fixing that wall that was there, and we'll just leave leave that there to look like a rivet. All right, good. And then we got to find the rest of the humongous mold lines. There are a bunch on this one. They're small though, and deceptive.
Okay. Good, good. Okay, I think I got... It's a flash. Go over everything. Now, this one I cannot drill down that way because it won't work. Emilian El Diablo from Steel Masters. No, I haven't seen that. That sounds amazing. Emilian El Diablo. He helped you. Oh, you went to a model expo last weekend. Awesome. So I would like to meet him. Sounds like it's really cool. Where did you go to the model expo? Sounds fun. We don't really, we have the historical expos here. Um, and actually, yeah, we have historical expos. We don't have really fantasy expos here. I wish we did. I think it'd be awesome. All right, so remember we were, this piece right here, what does that go to? Oh, that hooks to her back. Oh, okay, so we will need to somehow pin. That goes right there. Ooh. That's interesting. All right, it goes right there. I'm gonna fit this together first. I'm gonna pin that. Let's look at this base, because you said the, the legs go into the base. Do they go in specific spots? Kinda looks like that one does. So that one fits right there, right? And then this one, where does this one go, Drax? Oh, here. I think it goes right there. They're keyed. They're keyed. I'm looking. All right, so that means we gotta, well, maybe there's another spot right here. Oh, look at that. Fit right there? Yes. Okay, Let's see. Emilian is French. Oh, and you're in Portugal. I would love to go to Portugal. I love seafood and I've heard that Portugal Portuguese people eat a lot of seafood. That sounds amazing. All right, instead of pinning this where I glue it, I'm going to, I'm gonna drill the pin, but I'm going to leave it unglued so that I can rotate the leg if I need to. I realize I should have done that with the other one, but we might not be able to. Might be too late for the other one. All right, we'll talk later. That would be fantastic. <laughs> Definitely. I think that will work. Oop, those celestial models are limited. They are? Are you sure that aren't they coming out with a game? Okay, that's long enough. Do this. We're gonna we're gonna glue the pin, but we're not gonna glue the second side in. Let's wait, let's drill this a little bit more. Naga Girl is listed as a 300 limited edition. Holy cow. I didn't say that on mine. Seems weird. I guess, mm, I guess, mm, no, that's just, doesn't seem to make sense if they really want to sell them. That, and they had them at Gen Con? 
Maybe that's why people were getting so into them. I th I feel like they'll come out with them again. Maybe that first run, the resin. Maybe they're trying to like do it like Kingdom Death. All right, I'm gonna put a little bit of mm, yeah. I'll put a little bit of this. Let that set quicker. What about the uh, this chick, the uh, Zhurong? She listed as in limited as well. Let's cut this right here. And then, do we have a hole in this part yet? Nope, we did not. And this goes like this. Oh, they all are. Oh, man. Well, if you guys might be interested, what would you think if I put like, um, like a donation bar goal and then when we reach the donation bar goal, I could auction, uh, not auction, but I could um, give away this model painted. Would that be something you, you guys would be interested in? What's your opinion about the Citadel inks for 54 millimeter scale? Citadel inks for 54 millimeter. I don't know about that. I love the Citadel washes. I don't I don't know if I know anything about Citadel inks. Are they the same? You'd rather win the unbuilt kit. Yes, I understand. I'm painting it though, Silver Nail. Mine. <laughs> uh, I appreciate your honesty though. And I and I also understand your honesty. <laughs> Because that is why I'm excited to paint this. Oh, the paints. Um, I think they're fine for 54 mil. I think. See, we're gonna leave this just like this. Um, I think it's fine. Take that back. We're gonna put a little ball of this stuff on top of it. Put that down in there. Um, I think you can use Citadel paint is just paint, right? So that you can use it and it'll be fine very much share the preference for the unbuilt kits okay i understand guys all right we're gonna that looks good i can still move that a little bit and then it can cure that's that's better okay Let's do this. Um, like he said, they were keyed. That goes there. This is such a tricky model. Ooh. I think the base colors are too Bandy. I think I'm doing something wrong. Well, Bandy. I guess you'd have to show me. Use Vallejo and Andrea. Vallejo and Andrea are very good for 54 models. Oh, I get you. I get what you mean. I know the pigment's not fine enough. You know what's really good is for um, fine pigment is um, scale color. And, and if you can get the, uh, they have artist colors too. But Citadel is going to maybe be a little bit satin and not so great for the, um, it's going to be a little shiny. It's better for gaming models because you need the, you need it to be satin in order to hold up to the playing where, yeah, like sand. But I would, I would try to. All right, let's see if we can put this on her. I feel like I need to pin that as well, but it's not gonna pin. So we're gonna put, we're gonna put some of this in here, this fix it. 
just a little bit but in there and press it Ooh. Let's see if we can get it to blue yeah it's not matte exactly so it might not work so well Does turned. There we go. All right, let's try. I'm going to try to put some super glue on this. I don't know if it's going to work. And then I'm going to put some this on here. Yeah, every um, every color is going to every every pigment is going to be a little different. Right, so that, I think that worked. Okay, good. That seems good. Okay. We're doing good. We didn't need to put on, oh, we need to put on these arms. I'm going to cut this so that it is flush. And we got to cut the mold lines off. I see some more. Ravenous Oracle, how is the overall cast for the model feeling? okay I think I won't know 100% until I get it all on until I get it all together because I've I mean it's it's it feels like it's a difficult difficult build like it's not like I'm worried that things aren't gonna line up you know there are some mold slips there are like there's a lot of cleanup I think it's a uh, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see when we get get it all done. Let's put this arm on. I'm not going to pin this arm cuz there's just too little here and it's light. But I do see I'm going to try to keep mold lines off. Okay, good. That's going to fit in there nice. Put the glue in first, and then the arm on. And because it's square, it lines up pretty easily. I'm gonna hold it. Now. That's really lovely. Let's do a little bit of quick set right there. Good, good, good. Getting there. Okay. That's fair. I'm mostly curious because before jumping in for a larger model like this, yeah, it is, she's, she's bigger, but and she's spindly. She's spindly for sure. Although I put together, you know, sometimes bigger models are easier. Zip kicker, this is called Insta Set. This, and I do have Zip Kicker as well, but it comes in a little aerosol. I don't, I don't like it as much because it's aerosol. Got a little piece of junk on her elbow. I gotta get off. Along with a little bit of mole line. Go down. She's got some kind of cool Eldar-like gems on her hands, which I could see painting like Eldar would be cool. If I want to, it has a space between your fingers. I'm not going to cut it out. It looks like it's going to work. 
I'm looking for mole lines. There's one on her hand. Small one right there. Got it. And now we're going to go ahead and glue again on her other arm. Let's dry fit first. See how that's going to look. Perfect. It's going to fit right. So she is pretty, I mean, she's mostly seamless. If you can put her together right, I feel like she's a she's not a bad kit. But I don't think she's a basic kit. I think she's an inter, in, uh, intermediate to advanced, you know, quality level. Let's do a little zip kick or whatever, Insaset. Yeah. That's cool. I like it. All right, now we got to figure out how she's floating above everything. Let me look at this box. I don't think she actually is touching anything with her body. I think she's completely floating. Nope, she fits right there. Look at that. Her bottom of her foot is right on the top of that rock. That is good because we can probably pin that. Difficult. Di it'll be difficult, but we can probably pin it. Shall we try? Shall we try to pin it? All right, so here's... <sighs> Ricky, it does stink. Zip kicker stinks, it does. I like the drip better than the aerosol. What's... That's what you don't like about zip carrier. I feel like you can't control. A same thing, same here. All right, I'm gonna attempt in this model onto this base. There's not much because otherwise there's gonna be no no contact point between these two, or very little. Like it's just gonna be really easy to knock her off. And once we get her on here, it'll be easier to adjust the legs. So let's look. straight down in here if I draw if I drill through the foot I'll be okay with that I can file it whatever might need to might need to drill through the foot so far we've got a nice pilot hole going just jumped Dump the spray, yeah, dump the spray into a dropper bottle. Oh, that's a good idea. Javinus Oracle says, I could use bigger complicated kit. Reminds me of some of the engines from the model car kits you used to do. Yeah. Ravenous, um, so I recommend doing, if you don't want something real big, you know what, actually, if you want a big uncomplicated, or you want a big complicated kit, oops. Never mind. And this is big and complicated. It's definitely complicated. Um, another thing, uh, I've been doing Creature Caster models. Creature Caster just put out a bunch of big, complicated kits. They put out a bunch of them. Ooh, this is not even going through the... I'm so happy. Look at this. It's not even going through the foot yet. I mean, like, all the way through anyway. All right, let's try to pin. Let's put a pin in. Now, this is going to be... Might need to put a pin up, do a, drill, drill pins through the ankles just to reinforce them. At least this one. Do that. I think I will. I think I'm gonna drill. Uh, feel like I need to, because otherwise it's gonna break. It's gonna break right where I end the pin is what's gonna happen. Let's just, let's just keep doing this. See what happens. Where did I get this pin vise? My best friend bought this for me in Kansas City. And I honestly don't know what it's, what it's called, but I love the ball on the end of it because it's so comfortable. And I like that it holds a whole bunch of different sized drills, drill bits. The new queen of Malefica, yes, is a very complicated. Go, Ravenous, go look at Creature Caster's kits. Um, 
The only one that you don't have is the don't have anything in, in the science fiction range yet. That's true. They don't. Well, actually, no. They're coming out with an orc that looked... Well, that's still fantasy, isn't it? The orc looked like it's going to be sort of sci-fi-esque. All right, let's do this. I feel like I should keep drilling that. I feel like I should keep drilling that. Let's go until we can't go or we drill into the other side of the foot. I don't think it is going to drill into the other side of the foot. I think it's going to just be in there. Nice. So far. Oh, I heard something. Okay, it just went through the other side of the foot. That is perfect. Okay, so now what we can do then is put this on. Oh, it's the wrong foot. Are you kidding me? No, it's the right foot. The right foot? Yes, it's the right foot. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take my little hole. Let's see. I'm gonna put some paint on it. Let's put let's put white. I'm gonna put white paint on the hole so I can figure out where my next hole is gonna be. Hold on. There we go. Let's see if it, this, I don't know for sure if this is going to work, but I'm going to try. All right. It worked good enough for me to figure out where the hole is going to be. All right. Wipe that off. I'm going to put it right in the middle there. I'm going to drill a little pilot hole first. And then we can put the, it's the left foot. Wait, but it fits, it's right there. Yeah, cause that foot, the right foot, it's the, uh, it's the correct foot. That's what I meant, it's the correct foot. <laughs> we got the correct foot, not the right foot. The correct right, the correct, the right left foot. The le correct left foot, how's that? There we go, all right. Sorry, my hand is blocking the way. There we go. Did you pin this, Drax? Did you pin the foot or did you glue it? This is the most work I've done on a hit in a while. No, you didn't. Yeah, I don't blame you. This is a pain in the butt. But I'm hoping it will be good. That she'll be more strong. My friend Michelle who bought me this drill bit, this um, pin vise, she is the one that kind of taught me to, if you're going to have a model, reinforce the hell out of it. You're gonna do a model for any kind of um, competition, display, anything like that. What we working on? The Chromaser, 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 Chromaser. We are we're working on this model. Um, she is really cool. She's um, from Celestial Genesis, and she's from this is what she looks like right here. She's from this game called. Um, Celestial Genesis. There we go. Celestial Genesis by Dimension Games. Apparently we just found out these particular models are kind of like limited, which is bummer. 
yeah but we'll we'll let's see all right now the part where i'm going to carefully the this is where we don't want to glue anything in yet we just want to place that's still not deep enough so we're we're building kits building really difficult kits we're building really pain in the butt kits but it's least you're learning stuff about building um because there's lots to learn in this stream how does the material you have look before you shape it into what I want? This material, this is um, the fix it, or are you, are you talking about this? Because this is resin that's cast. The company actually makes these. Um, but tell me if you mean the fix it, because the fix it is. Oh, there we go. All right, I'm going to take a pin, put that in there. That's still funny. Okay, there we go. Got some depth. But yeah, I don't actually make these. I'm just building a kit that came like this. And the people who make this, they, they usually sculpt this kind of stuff out of, sometimes out of clay, sometimes out of... Um, what else do people use to sculpt? Uh oh, I just lost my little pin. Is that it? Their main product is Deep Madness. Oh, okay. This is my pin, I think. No, it's not my pin. Yeah, that's not. Wait. That's not a pin. The 2D, wait, so see. Ah, you thought it was clay. Yeah, it looks like clay, doesn't it? It's just um, resin, so it's already, it's actually kind of soft. But it's it's made of resin. You buy the kit, and they, they use, some people 3D sculpt these, and then they have them cast in resin. Some people, um, there's different ways to, to produce miniatures. Oh, there it is, stuck to my magnetic clippers. How oh, funny. All right, good, I don't have to cut another one. All right, I'm going to put that down in there and just set that. And then we're going to get the foot on here, which we have a hole in already. And attempt to dry fit that. That looks good, I think. Yes, yes. Okay, good. Let's look at the box real quick and see how it's a little bit... It's a little bit slanty, just a little bit. Okay, so now we can we can do all the gluing. Second Kickstarter should be shipping soon. Are they gonna do? Probably gonna. Do you think they're gonna do um, encores of these these models, Drax? Bug King, hey, twenty-seven months. Oh my gosh, thank you. That is more than a year. Yes. <laughs> Ah, uh, there we go. Hold on one second. I'm going to glue this and then we will write down your name, uh, Bug King. We're carefully. Okay, it's, it did come up through her foot a little bit. But I can, I can adjust. I can adjust. Ugh. All right, I'm going to hold that there. Put the little bit of the kicker. There we go. We're pinning. We're doing all the pins, Bug King. All right, let's do a name right here. Thank you for subscribing. Part of me wants to write the real Bug King, but I keep forgetting. <laughs> 27 months. That is more than two years. That is more than two years. Derp. 27 months is more than a year. Yes, it is. Yay, pinning. You hardly ever pin. I don't either. This is nice, though. This is really sound. Look at how cool this model is already. Look at the silhouette. With her tiny face. She's got the tiniest 
face ever. Now, I'm looking. Let me look and see where this went. Oh, okay. The pin did go up through her foot, but it's not going to be difficult to sand that once it's cured or even file. We could even file it a little bit. I think we should wait till it's cured. Oh no, it's sanding down. It's sanding down already. Okay. This is this is solid, guys. Wow. All right, I, I recommend pinning this model. We did fix this. Now, this is the this is the leg that fits down into the back. This is where things get really tricky. This, oh, look at that. Arr. Might have to hair dry. We might need to pull her. See, that's not going to work. Let's move it this way a little bit. I think I'm going to have to bend her a little bit with the hair dryer. That's supposed to go down into this piece right here. I think. Right, Drax? Okay, we'll, we'll make it work. Doc Hooligan, hello, you've been lurking and working. Don't tell Shoshi. <laughs> Don't file till it's cured. Okay, you'll get glue in your file. I will, let me see. Okay, good. I didn't get glue in my file, but Bug King, I'm glad. All right, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go this in first and then I'll bend that to that. So what a pain. That in that channel. Mine's floating. Okay. Well, I kind of want it to. I kind of want it to stabilize, though. But I think that having it like this will will stabilize it some. You thought so. T you thought so as well. I thought her feet didn't touch the ground at all. We we cheated. We put her touching the the stone. So. Too late. <laughs> Blue in your life is a wonderful thing. You want to create a useless file. <laughs> All right. Let's do this. Let's put this up here. Thankfully, resin is a little bendy. I'm going to bend this back this way. And yeah, that's going to work. We just need to let this park here. I'm gonna put some stuff on it. Now you need to come create some sculpted material between the parts. That, yeah, we might end up doing that. We've been talking about that. We did that on the last model too. You know what, I've been doing so much more sculpting, Bug King. Look, you see this girl? Um. So, what did I sculpt on her? We redid the legs. We put brass rod. My friend dremeled it. Brass rod through the through the. This used to be resin. These little tiny legs used to be resin. Now they're now they're rod. Um, but yeah, totally took away that. Let resculpted the top of the feet a little bit. That wasn't too hard. Um, what else did I have to resculpt? I had see this little piece of rope right here. I don't know if you can see it. It's a little bigger than the other side because I sculpted that part of the rope. And I have, hold on, I'll go get it, a piece of her hair that still needs to be put on. You'll be so proud of me. Look at this. I made this hair because her hair broke off and I couldn't find it. So I sculpted this hair and that's going to go coming. That's going to come out of her little ponytail. So she'll have a little top knot coming like that. That's how you get better sculpting by sculpting. Yes, I agree. 
I agree. I, I don't doubt you. But look at how good. I'm so proud of myself. So, and this is a little tiny. I need to get a tiny little drill bit. Um, put that in. Yeah. Well, and look at that rope. Rope. It's hard to see you on this cam, but it's it, 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 it's hard not to see, except if you didn't know that this is mine. Um, it's a little bit bigger, but other than that, for somebody who doesn't sculpt, it's not bad. Fine detail. You like the hair much better. Yeah, the hair is good. That was hard. That was really hard. All I used, I only have two sculpting tools. I only have these two, and that's it. So it's pinned. This is going to be pinned. I'm going to pin, somehow I'm going to pin this little hair. But yeah, do you guys like that? Beautiful bird. Margo, oh, so this is pinned. Yes, Margo got one broken. Oh, yeah, I know. These are very, very strong brass rods instead of resin because th this bird comes with resin legs and um yeah so we i saw margot's and that's why i wanted to prevent that and so we we took the legs out and put brass rod in instead and then re-sculpted the feet and then i also painted it to look more like bird feet so you can kind of see how it it looks a little different you're still cutting material away. You have to do that before re-sculpting. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, I'll be right back. I'm going to go put these aside so I don't get stuff on them. Um, I'm going to be taking a sculpting class from, who is it? In fact, Bug King, if you're interested, hold on, let me find out the name of the sculptor. If I think it's who I think it is, hold on. Um, hold on here, here we go. So I'm trying to see, cause sometimes this, this I'm in a chat with a bunch of people who are, let's see, Patrick, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, Patrick Masson, he's the one who sculpted that bird, is coming to Chicago right before Adepticon, and I'm taking a sculpting class from him, so that makes me so excited, so yeah, yeah, I know, right, so Bug King, if you want to go, let me know. It's the week before. Yeah. He's he's a master sculptor. He's the one who sculpted that bird and that cricket and that little fairy. You can see a lot of his work on um, blacksmithminiatures.com. He's fantastic. And actually, if you just Google Patrick Masson Miniatures, he has an, I think he has an art station that you can look up. I'd have to see about doing that if you can hack the lodging. Well, um, let me know because uh, there's going to be several of us from Chicago, so we might be able to help find you a host. So let me know early so we can we can try to do that because we want to fill the class too. And then you can you can come stay with me until Adepticon. <laughs> it's only a week, <laughs> or actually, it'll only be a I don't know, take that back. It'll only be a a day or two. Yeah. That would be awesome. I only live I only live two and a half hours from Chicago. We'll drive up. All right. So this this piece is gonna that's gonna get bendy, huh? We did it before. I think that Bug King is right that we're gonna need to sculpt some some additional piece in there. I'm gonna leave that for now till it's secured. Can you imagine me? Oh my gosh, you guys would have a blast. We'll play Kingdom Death. You and Mike would get along great. You'll, you'll be trolling me. That's what's going to happen. So that's what always happens is that my guy friends get to know my husband and then they get along him, with him better than me. And yeah, I'm the one that gets trolled. <laughs> yup. 
All right, this goes down in here. She is all so much, oh, she's such a pain. Well, okay, this might not work here. Tell you what, I'm not gonna fit that into the, I'm not gonna fit that into the, I'm gonna let this piece float and it'll just have to work and we'll, we'll make it work. Let's do this into there. I know you did say that. All right, we'll make it work. It'll be okay. This piece is gonna just kind of float over here. I'll just do it right there. You can't really actually see where, well you can. <laughs> see, that works enough. It looks like the box. I think they, well, it doesn't look like the box. It doesn't look like the box, but it's good enough. <laughs> Finished, not perfect, right? And then we'll put a little tiny piece of glue right here too. That way. Yep, yep, yep. You were sitting with two sculpting tools I'm making three or four custom for your current project. That's cool. I think that I'm learning that sculpting, learning to sculpt and being able to fix models is such a valuable, valuable skill. All right, that's really fiddly. That's okay. Let's get it, it's better. Yeah, we will definitely have to make some kind of doodad in the middle of that because I shouldn't have glued that last piece down let me see if I can still cut that off there we got it okay good Patrick Masson I'm so excited all right now we can do that perfect That's not bad. It opens up a lot of room for personal expression. You can modify, absolutely, yeah. And that's what, that's what really makes a difference in, um, in competitions because when you can surprise judges or when you can make something from scratch, that is crazy good, right? All right, I'm gonna use, this stuff is really almost too, cured by now I'm gonna get some more we've been using fix it it's like similar to epoxy sculpt but not quite I actually have some epoxy sculpt somewhere I don't know where though did I put it down here I have a big tub of it now the fix it will work it's okay we'll use this you aren't stuck doing what sculptor Decided, yes. Although, on that same token, sometimes sculptors don't like it when you change their stuff and you show them and you show them your new baby. You're like, you yeah, look, I, I modified this, da, 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 da. and they're like, mm, mm. it can get really personal. <laughs> so you gotta be careful showing sculptors your modified stuff. Although, I'm sure some of them are used to it. Let's like, Get this out of my nails. This is the only thing I don't like about, I should wear gloves when I'm using this. Yeah, indeed. BRB, okay. Make two equal sized balls. That one's, this, this one's a little bigger, so I'm gonna get some more. Perfect, okay, and then I like to mash them and then mix them. I don't know why my hands are so red. They're not that red. I think they're, the color might be still a little bit off. Make sure there's no marbling or anything. It needs to be 
completely mixed. It's not mixed yet. I can still see marbling. Guys, I just realized it's almost six o'clock. We went way over time. It's, but it's been a, big, a good stream though, right? You've really been hanging on. All right. This is what I'm going to try to do here. I'm going to try to put these together. Okay. Yeah. And I'm going to put blue in one side. And I'm going to put accelerant in the other side. While Bug King's not around to tell me what to do. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> you are back. Yes, you are. Typically mix till there's no marbling and then mix for another minute. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, I should have done that. All right, well, we're holding it together. So far, so good. Oop, nope, not so far so good. Because there's a little piece of the fix it in there. We'll just hold it for some more minutes. It might not, it might not, it might still pull apart. If I hit it with the hairdryer, will it cure faster or will that make it more brittle? <laughs> All right, I think, yeah, it's not gonna. All right, we'll just let that dry. See, there's a piece of the fix it on there. Not familiar with the material. It's really similar to, um, we'll, we'll just leave that. Well, I'll fix it another time. We got a lot of this done. I can use a little bit of this material to modify the foot a little bit so that it's not as gapped. Pretty happy with the, I'm glad I put her, even though she might not have, she might have, maybe was supposed to be floating. I'm glad that she's got a foot on the thing because I feel like she's more stable in some ways. Put a little bit in there. My tool. Milliput. Yeah, this is similar to Milliput. It's um it's a two-part epoxy basically. It's it's fix it. It's called fix it. It's a plumber's tool. Plumber's, plumber's putty. Um, it works similar to epoxy sculpt. I think it's made by the same people even. Thank you, Paulus of Pep. Yeah, she is cool looking, isn't she? Wait till we get her, wait till we get her, um, wait till we get her painted, painted and, and uh, painted and primed, even just primed, she's going to look cool. I was telling people, I think we should just dry brush her a bunch. Just like Bohun would do. What would WWBD, what would Bohun do? Okay. All right. I think that's a good place to stop. We can, we can, I, I can always bend her with the hairdryer a little bit and like make, make some material in there to, to bridge the gap. All right. Let's look for somebody. Awesome. My, my music ended anyway, so we're at the good spot. Wait till Shoshi figures out how to speak. Exactly. We'll take longer than, yes, exactly. <laughs> All right, guys, let's find somebody to raid. Somebody awesome. Okay, hold on here. So go ahead into exclamation point. Mad love, I think that's one. C. Haven't. Okay, who is on? Tonight is Monday night. I don't know if Nikki Cole's just started. She doesn't have very many people. We can raid Nikki. She's always painting some nice Warhammer. Her and Scott. Sound good? She only has a few people, so I like to I like to do that. There you go. There's the hype. All right, guys. Hold on a second here on my keyboard. There we go. And it's slash raid. 
that work? Yes. All right. I will be back. Hopefully we'll be painting some more next time because we I've done enough building for today. We'll be painting on Wednesday night, 7 to 9 p.m. GMT minus 6 or 5. Sorry, GMT minus 5 central time. And let's go all give lots of emotes and spam Nikki with emotes and say hi. All right. Bye.